Hi, my name is Patrick Regan, and I've come here to Ghana, West Africa, to check out this year's Spring Harvest Project. Ghana is Africa's second largest producer of gold and supplies 15% of the world's cocoa. The country should be well off, but through corrupt governments in the 60s and 70s, they have left this country in complete poverty. This year, the Spring Harvest Project is working with the Ashanti Akim Community Organisation, a Christian charity that aims to alleviate poverty in the Ashanti Akim district. This charity is founded and coordinated by Pastor Akusia. The vision is literally to help the people to help themselves where they are. Uh, with the children, it could be education, uh, going through schools. With the teenagers, it could be helping them to learn skills. And with adults, sometimes helping the parents to improve their wage levels so that they can be responsible for their families. We need a lot of things in our community, water, hospitals, but our basic primary need is education. We need education because it will help the people to upgrade their knowledge. It will help them to get income from the work that they will do so that they can, they can feed, they can, they can look after themselves and their children. Most of the people, most of the children don't, don't go to school. They need to be educated. They just... Um, running into the cities for jobs so that they can help themselves. But it ends up some, uh, with some people even in, in jail. Okay, so what's these people's story? The little boy doesn't go to school because parents have abandoned him to an auntie in the village and she can feed him, but she can't educate him, so he's out of school. But why was he abandoned? The dad had an affair, and then he was the product of that affair, and he gave him as a, a gift to his mum, that's a dad's mum, in the village, and they only did that a year ago. So the kid's been abandoned, yeah. and how much would it cost for him to go to school? Uh, 40,000 CDs, Ghanaian CDs a term, which comes to about two pounds and about, say, 10p. OK, so just two pound and 10p will send this kid to school. And uh, he's eight, isn't he? He's eight. He's eight, yes. and would give him a chance in an education. This is Stephen, he's 11 years old, and he's another classic example of a kid in Ghana. Both his parents have died, and last week his uncle died as well. And so now he's living with his grandma and just can't afford to go to school and get an education. 